1.2.4, group zero, the noble gases. So you need to know group zero, the, the noble gases, they are unreactive. The reason they're unreactive is they don't easily form ions or compounds. So they don't react. The reason they don't react is they have an SEA, a stable electron arrangement. That means they've got a full outer shell. They don't need to gain or lose electrons to become stable. So when you consider the uh, electron arrangement for helium, HE, it's 2.0. When you consider it for neon, it's got 10 electrons. So its electron arrangement is 2.8.0. And when you consider it for argon with 18 electrons, it's 2.8.8.0. They all have zero electrons in their outer shell, or you could say they've got a full outer shell. Now in terms of the properties, as you go down group zero, the noble gases, what you find is the boiling point increases. So that the temperature at which they boil gets higher. The reason for that is when the relative atomic mass increases, there's bigger forces between the atoms that need separating. When we're considering unit seven, the boiling point of hydrocarbons, you'll know that as the chain length increases, the boiling point increases because of the relative atomic mass increases and there are stronger or more intermolecular forces holding the molecules together. So therefore more energy is required to separate the molecules. That's the same with the noble gases. As the relative atomic mass increases, the intermolecular forces increase. Make sure you know why group zero are unreactive and why the boiling point increases as you go down the group.